to make some porcupine meatballs as part of our dinner tonight. So I'll show you how we do it and we use rice aroni. It's like a shortcut. You get lots of good beef flavor and they're very filling. So you can take one pound of hamburger meat and feed everybody and fill them up. So let's make some porcupines. I cook my onions because we do not want raw onions in our meatballs. So as soon as these are softened, we're gonna strain them out of that grease and then we're gonna add them to our mixture and start making our meatballs. And you put the, the uh, seasoning packet aside and it's part of what you use to make your gravy. onions are in here and I'm gonna mix that up and let it cool for a minute because they're pretty hot and then and it's okay for a few are left in here but I have just the right amount of oil in here to cook my bee balls now I decided to try some Worcestershire or however you say that, in my meatballs this time. And I think it added a good flavor. So you just want to brown the balls um, a little bit. You're not gonna cook them all the way through. They will cook in the gravy. So I'm just gonna mix up the gravy ingredients and get that poured in there. Once I take that grease out, I do wanna drain those. So I cleaned the grease out of my pan because I don't want greasy. And I have four cups of water. And I'm 
we're going to mix in the restaurant seasoning packet. And beef bouillon. It's been about halfway through my sewing time and I am going to flip all of my meatballs over so the rice on both sides can cook because as you can see it's clumping up the rice so while the meat finishes cooking in the middle it's also cooking my rice aroni that I mixed in. My timer's done and I'm going to take my meatballs out of this and you can see it cooked halfway down and everything is all plumped up because the rice got done. And I'm gonna put them back in my bowl from earlier. I left it here. And then I'm gonna make my gravy. So I'm just gonna get a spoon of my uh, cornstarch and mix it directly in about a third a cup of water. And I'm gonna mix till it dissolves and then we'll put it in to make our gravy. So I have my mixture. Pour that in. And get my spoon. And I still have this on low, so I'm going to turn it up just a little bit to get this part going. So I'm just going to cook until it thickens. And you can see the carrots from the um, spice mixture that comes in the um, rice aroni. And then there are pieces of rice floating in it that have come out of the meatballs while they were cooking. But that just adds to the gravy. You can see how <clears throat> it's thickened right up. It's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna start putting my meatballs back in. And that will be super yummy. So I usually like to I put them in and I roll them around and coat them and then move them to the side. And I will keep adding these till all of my meatballs are back in here. Serve our porcupines with um, over rice to put our gravy on and usually ooh, that was hot the pan's hot don't touch <laughs> and uh with some green beans so i'm really quick gonna cover these back up and keep them warm while i get my green beans ready because the rice is already ready and waiting on the side but this is porcupines mm -hmm.